Hey, what's up, Starman crew? Welcome back to the channel. And if it is your first time here, then welcome to the channel. Today is a very special day because we do have this. The Brilliant Stars release happens today. The official release is actually Friday. But if you go to a shop that does tournaments, like a card shop, they do do their releases on Monday. Yeah, do do. So we are able to look at this today. I'm very, very excited to bust this thing open. I just ask that if you like what you see, that you hit that like button and that subscription button because they both help me out a lot. But let's jump into this thing right now. All right, so basically I'm super annoyed right now because I got a new webcam and I could not set it up properly because my computer isn't strong enough. But we we're back to the old webcam. Our lighting should actually be pretty good. So um, we do have our new booster box, super cool. Has Arceus, has Charizard, which there's like five Charizards that you can get. A nice explanation on the back. If you want to pause and read that, you totally can. Whimsicott, and at the bottom, anything top has a Shaman. Shaman is the name. <laughs> um, never ask me anything when it comes to uh, tri trivia, when it comes to names. So let's get this bad boy open. Um, now, if you didn't watch, I did play in a pre-release tournament with this. So I have shown off this set before. The link will be, or the video will be in the eye. Um, but this is the first luck at a full booster box, which people do get this sent early if you're a big content creator, which is really nice. <laughs> Wish it was me. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. Um, but we do have this, some awesome, awesome uh, artworks. So let's actually move some of this out of the way. Hopefully it all looks okay to you. Um, and we'll get started with the nice Charizard art. Um, like I said, there's like five Charizards, a rainbow, um, an alternate art, which everybody and their mother will be chasing. I will give all the code cards today. So be on the lookout for that. Two, three, four. Let's guess the energy fire. Ooh, so hopefully we can call for fire on the first pack. Have it also be a Charizard and just be super happy with this opening. So Terra and a muck. So couldn't happen there. <laughs> um, if you could just let me know in the comments what your favorite pull is of the day, as well as your favorite pack art, because this pack art is awesome. I kind of just want to like hoard a bunch of Charizard arts. Um, now I did actually secure two booster boxes and an elite trainer box. Uh, one booster box I would like to keep sealed. So this one has no guess the energy. If you don't know the new V star cards, basically it changes up how the game is played. So you're able to use one V star rule per game. Hopefully we get a look at that and I can kind of show you, but you use this on your mat as like a placeholder of uh, since you only get one, you have your V-Star. Once you use it, you flip it over and you know for the rest of the game, hey, I use my V-Star power. Uh, but we can look at this. The art is amazing. Sincino looks really, really nice. Cleansing gloves, primer, fairy, doof. Oh, that is such a pretty Bidoof. <laughs> um, I cannot wait to like actually look through this set because through this, I'm looking at it through a camera, uh, Magmortar. Um, Whimsicott looking real nice there. So yeah, they have awesome character rares which I'm very excited about. I think that they're just beautiful. And I never was like around to open a set where they had anything like it. Cause they have done like character-ish full arts or like full art Pokemon cards. Let's go with water. Ooh, psychic. And you could also tell if you've been in this game for a bit that the energies do look different. And I do love the style. Rimplup. Sorry if I'm going too fast. I'm just so excited to get into this set. Um, and I just really want some good fire pulls. Cubcho and a Shaman V. So that is a pretty looking card. Um, I usually put some prices up just so you get like a roundabout. Usually V cards will end up at like the $2 range, um, but this is a very, very pretty card. The centering looks really good too. Keep that off to the side. Um, I usually don't do a, uh, what's it called? Oh my goodness, a recap at the end of the videos, but I may do it today. Cause like I said, this set is super hype, super excited for it. Um, and I really want to show off some good pulls. I am going to open up the full booster box. Let's go with Leaf Energy, Darkness. Um, and I usually do this in two sets, so I'll do like half at a time um, when it comes to booster boxes, because it is pretty expensive. But I just feel like, you know, treating you all today and opening up a bunch. A Boss's Orders, which I really like the holographic for this. Boss's Orders is one of like the better cards in the meta for the trading card game, whether you play expanded format, uh, mostly standard, it's probably best for, but I believe that you would definitely uh, be able to play it in any expanded deck as well. Um, let's go with water. Ooh, leaf. I was actually going to say leaf too, and I, I took it back. Friends and Galar. They added some really, really nice cards to this. Dene, Cub Chu, Shinx. 
Because what happens is they usually try to keep the meta around the same. So cards get reprinted, like the boss's orders. Uh, Golurk, I mean the, oh yeah, it was a boss's order, sorry. <laughs> um, and a nice Arceus pack. I don't know if we've seen that yet. I'm also a little bit all over the place. <laughs> um, like I said, I set up my new webcam and stuff this morning, was really excited for it, and then had to tear it all down to go back to the original setup. But I did work on the lighting, so I'm really hoping that this video looks good for you all because I've been a little bit upset about my quality. Let's go with electric energy. Ooh, there we go, lightning. As I meant, Ultra Ball is reprinted, one of the better cards in the meta as well. So now it'll be playable in Standard. So if you don't know, Standard format is basically just the newest sets that are released. And there we go, a Zekrom character card. All right. Let's see what's behind it, a Luxray, which is fine. But I just, I want to take a closer look at this. That is just beautiful. Is that N, right, that's on it? I, I don't know for sure. Um, but from the Black and White era, Zekrom, the back is looking spicy. But these are cards that I'm, I'm just really looking forward to having. Shaman. Again, on the art. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> technical difficulties are always fun. Uh, I am working on putting out more quality than uh, quantity videos because I used to put up two videos a week and I did do a decent job. Let's go with water energy fighting. Uh, I did do a decent job with them. I do think that my videos came out pretty good. But at the same time, like I would rather, you know, have nicer camera quality take a little bit more time editing Roseanne backup, which I haven't even read this card yet. I did pull it during the pre-release, but it's so long. I haven't taken a chance to look at it and NTB. So again, they typically end up at about $2, but this is really cool because it kind of mirrors uh, Suicune V, which came out. So it has fleet footed and then it just has a fire based attack rather than a water based attack. Um, so that's really cool that they did that. They also put the other one in that I'm blanking on the name. Uh, <laughs> of course, like I said, my vocabulary is just so bad across the board that asking me Pokemon card or Pokemon's names is just terrible. Let's go with Leaf, Fire. So yeah, there's some awesome alternate arts, ar awesome RCS V-Star cards. There is a, uh, a Charizard V-Star, a Rainbow Charizard V-Star. I would love to get one of those. A Single Strike Mustard card. All right. And a, wor whoa, Wormadam. Super cool art. But yeah, these full art trainers are so, so cool. I love getting these. Oh, it's so beautiful. Centering looks pretty good. The back is kind of bad. It's a little bit short on this side. But that is wonderful. Move into Whimsicott. As we struggle to open it. <laughs> now, yeah, this is actually looking to be the best set in the Sword and Shield era, and actually probably like my favorite set that I've opened to date. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, let's go with Fire, Psychic, and that's not to say that like every set that comes out is my favorite. I'd say that before this, it was Evolving Skies. This Luxio looks really cool too. It looks like the Amazing Rares. Um. But like this actually has some good Charizard cards, which I love. But besides that, it's not just all centered around Charizard. This is a really nice Moltres and a holographic one as well. Um, this is actually the pre-release kit that I got had a Moltres in it. Um, but yeah, so the other cards that had Charizard in it, they were basically just like, if you didn't get Charizard, you didn't get much. And this has so much more to offer along with those Charizard cards that I'm just oh so excited. And the only reason I say Charizard a lot is because that is my favorite Pokemon. So I'm always chasing for it. Uh, let's go with Fighting Energy. Ooh, I haven't called that one yet. Uh, but yeah, this set is just so, so beautiful. Bro, Magmar, Arnie's Pride, and a Staraptor. So there we go. Nothing too crazy yet, really. I'm really hoping for an alternate art. That, again, that Charizard alternate art, it has Charizard and Venusaur fighting each other. It kind of reminds me of like a Goku and Vegeta fighting in the Wasteland type vibe. And I like that a lot. Let's go with Lightning. Ooh, water. Be especially because like Dragon Ball Z is my favorite anime too. So just to be reminded of it is crazy cool. All of it kind of working together. The Dene, Wormadat, and an Electivire. All right. Okay, so I just had to put a bunch of uh, commons off to the side. But let's get into our next pack. We're not even halfway through this box yet. And like I said, I am hoping for something crazy just because I, oh, there's just so many crazy things to pull. 
Let's go with Metal Energy. Ooh. Um, but I'm I'm very happy with what we've pulled so far. And like I said, with another full <laughs> more than half a box to go, this is incredible. And I usually don't open this much at a time. Double Chimchar and an Infernape, which is a really nice holographic. Super cool. Oh, I had one on the floor. Whatever. We will get to that next. Maybe that's the God Pack. Maybe there's an error and it has four alt arts in it. We'll be going crazy. Um, in the comments too, if you could let me know what you have pulled so far, if you have gotten your hands on this set. Let's go with Leaf Energy. Ooh, I've been pretty decent at calling these energies today. Tropius, that's a really nice looking card. Um, but yeah, let me know what you've pulled, if you've had a chance to open this yet. Like I said, the set does release today. Plus, if you are able to play. Ooh, this Reverse Mewtwo is so nice. I'm keeping this off to the side. I like it a lot. And a Wormadam. Um, but you could have had a chance with the uh, with the pre-release kits to open it up. It comes with four packs. And then usually if you play in a tournament, I know the one that I play in, you get an extra three packs at the end. So they just open up a booster box early and they give out three packs to each participant. And it's super cool. Uh, let's go with Lightning Energy. Psychic. Um, but yeah, this set is just... Oh, oh, and they also had for sale because people, I guess, were pulling it during the pre-release events. Heatran. Uh, they had a couple of the Charizard V-Star cards, the regular ones, as well as just regular Charizard. I think it's just Charizard V is what's coming in this set. Um, I don't think it is a character card. One, two, three, four. Let's go with Psychic. Ooh, fire. Ooh, double turbo energy I did hear was good as well, but I haven't gotten a reading on the official card yet because I haven't pulled it. Piplup. Ooh, this Piplup looks really nice. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit cheeky. I'm just so excited, really. Hey, this looks so beautiful. See, it's behind it, a Tornadus, which is really, really cool as well. But another character card, the Dedenne. And I love how they put the holographic on this. The foil is just so, so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Pokemon Company, for this set. <laughs> um, I do think that the last couple of sets were a little disappointing with the exception of um, Evolving Skies. I think that, that was a very good set. Um, but besides that, the past couple were a little eh. Uh, except for Celebrations, let's go with Lightning. Um, Celebrations was good, but at the same time, it had very limited things that you could pull. Um, so this is just so, so nice to have an Electabuzz and a Pikachu V, a full art Pikachu V. I have not pulled the Pikachu V full art from Vivid Voltage yet, so this is a really nice one to get. That is such an amazing uh, pattern, pattern in the background. Blech, can't talk. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so pretty. The back is looking pretty solid too, I'd say. Actually, that's a pretty well in shape card. Uh, we have a just a couple more in the first half of this booster box. Again, I'm hoping that this video doesn't go too long for you. I will edit out some of the opening of the packs and whatnot if I'm not talking. Or uh, let's go with fire. But that's another reason that I usually do one half at a time. I never want anyone to be too bored when watching these, especially when there's so much content out there. I want people to watch my stuff and be like, hey, this was a good watch. I'm glad I went through it. Monferno and a Dust Noir, which is a holographic. Um, because sometimes, you know, you just find a video and you're like, why is it? 45 minutes long. I, not that this would be 45 minutes long, even if I left it all in there. Um, but you know, I, I don't want to waste anyone's time when there's so much content to work on. So much of your content to work on. If you are posting videos, let me know as well. Let's go with water energy. Um, because I would love to check out what you're all pulling. I do try to support as many people as I can on uh, this platform, but it does become hard. A Cincino and a Lapras, which is really nice. I actually thought that was a holographic for a second. But that looks super cool. We have two more packs on this side. I think I might have pulled one from this side, so it, this actually is probably the halfway point. And again, if you haven't already, just hit that like button. Let me know that you're enjoying what we're doing. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see uh, content wise with this set coming out, because I try to do some fun things like some interviews and stuff. Uh, let's go with Lightning Psychic. And I would love to hear some of your suggestions because I want to put out content that you're all going to enjoy watching. This Farfetch is beautiful. Again, I'm, I'm going a little fast through these commons, but just because you're going to have your chance to open it as well, a Tropius and a Raichu V, which I actually did pull during the pre-release, but still super cool. I like it a lot. The centering is 
a uh, little little light on on this right side but not too crazy very very nice but yeah um what was i saying i was saying something i don't remember sometimes that happens when <laughs> you have to talk through a whole video oops uh i kind of ruined that one you could still get a character rare in a bad code card but at the same time you know i don't want to keep you all here for too long like i said all right move on to our next pack again second half of the box code card for you four let's go with leaf energy Ooh, that... i think they actually put in the zacian v which makes for a very cool deck um it's very heavily played online because it's a little bit easy to get your hands on i believe a dradigan a dradigan whoa let's go with words words for a thousand alex <laughs> it could be so hard to do this stuff efficiently let's see one two three four let's go with fire energy water Playing Tarkoal. Again, double turbo energy. The Doof looking all pretty. I like the buzz. Whoa. A Clefable looking really cool. And a Professor's Research. So this is the Professor's Research that I mentioned before. Um, again, this is something that just kind of gets printed into rotation. Basically every single set because, or every other set at least, because it's just so used in the meta that they know uh, that supporter card's basically got to be in there to keep things flowing uh, or something like it. Uh, let's go with Psychic. Dark. I haven't called Dark Energy yet. I probably should soon. Poor Fish looking nice. Golet. Golet had a nice alternate art, actually, a couple sets ago. Shroomish and a Clefable. So we just got the reverse on that. So now we have the non-holographic rare. Oh, and speaking of which, with this set coming out, I have recently... Uh, I'll go with Water Energy. Leaf. I have recently beat um, Legends Arceus. I haven't played the post game yet, though. But if you've played that, what do you think of that game? Because I think that it is a fantastic addition to uh, Pokemon's lineup. Move on to the next pack. We're gonna go through a couple of these a little fast. Like I said, just to not keep you here for too long. I do appreciate you all watching this video. It always means a lot to uh, see some good feedback in the comments. And that was a good pack to do that on because there was nothing crazy in there anyway. We're still looking for I believe an ultra um, because unless a full art counts as an ultra, which I don't think it does. We haven't pulled one yet. We haven't gotten a rainbow, a gold, and there's so many of those. Or an alternate art. Full card there. One, two, three, four. Let's go with dark energy. Ooh. Um, but yeah, we definitely need one of those to come up because I need to show it to you all and I need it as part of my collection. I get really excited for this stuff. A corefish. Oops, and an SQ. Wow, wow. So actually, this box really, thinking about that Ultra, if we don't get something soon, it is a little bit of a dud of a box, which is kind of unfortunate. There you go. Go through this one a little bit faster. And a Kingler V, which is really, really cool. V-Star again. But yeah, the I actually do like the VMAX art, I think, better. But this is actually still really, really nice. That's very cool. I think it's the first time that Kingler's been in a set in a very long time. And the centering looks pretty good too. So that's exciting. Something to look forward to there. <laughs> also, I changed where I put my camera because of uh, the lighting that I got. So <laughs> if I end up looking like super far away, it's because, uh, we'll just go through this one quick. Hey, there we go, an Urshifu VMAX alternate art. Oh my goodness. So we did get something in a Lucario, which I actually was looking for. I shouldn't have went fast through that one. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that is so, so good looking. Gmax one blow. Oh, this is a very good card in the meta as well. Single strike, Urshifu. And that is super cool to have my hands on. Okay, okay, the box isn't, the box isn't so bad. <laughs> That's a little bit better. As much as we're looking for that Charizard. And like I said, I have another, uh, I was able to secure another booster box and uh, a elite trainer box. We'll go slow through this one. Let's go with water. Ooh, fire. Um, so we were able to get some more. So hopefully we have some more chances. Or we do have some more chances. But hopefully we do get a Charizard. Because for five of them to be in here. And to not get a single one. A little unfortunate. Go. We're also looking for some more character cards. We only got like two so far. And I've been seeing a bunch of them going around. Hey, Dracovich B. Again, not exactly what we're looking for. Still a very cool card. 
This might have also came in the last set. I'm not sure on that one. Or Evolving Skies, it might have came in. I don't exactly remember. But I feel like it looks familiar, at least. Let's see. Go card there. One, two, three, four. Let's go with Leaf Energy. Ooh, metal. I saw something shiny. Kind of flipped this around a little too fast, and we got some. Or I think we got some. Unless it was just this, the beer tick. Oh, it was just that, the beer tick and a muffin. We have just a couple packs left. It looks like we have four. Like I said, I really, I really want to keep some of these Charizard ones sealed. I just, I love the art so much. Oops. Go card. Go through this one a little bit quicker. Nice Luxio. Hey, and there it is, a Whimsicott B Star Rainbow. That's really cool. Let's go through these real quick. So, so we did get an alternate art and a rainbow. Not exactly the ones we wanted, because like I said, Charizard is the ultimate pull. But now we have the V-Star power. So it has this fluff ball star. So if you use that, you only get it once per game. And then you have to flip over your V-Star card to let you remember, hey, I did this one. The centering is not great. Definitely light here, heavy on the top and here. Uh, but that's okay. Super cool. Four packs left. Again, Charizard art. Ugh, so pretty. We can always hope for more. Hopefully something we can end on a bang. There's some really awesome evolution cards, uh, the character cards, which I love. I have pulled one. Let's go fire. Ooh, dark. Ultra Ball again. I did pull one reverse Ultra Ball. And like I said, that's a very useful card in the TCD, but it looks like you pull a lot if you buy a booster box, so people will probably won't be starving for it. Let's go Whimsicott. Whimsicott give us some luck, pretty please. The Halucha. I feel like that's like a, a luchador. It's probably what it's uh, supposed to be based on. Let's go with Leaf Energy. Ooh, okay. We calling it for these last couple packs. If we get three in a row, that'll be something. Magmar looking nice. Staryu, Burmy, Choice Belt, and an Empoleon. It's all holographic, but and now we're not what we're looking for. Two more left. Hit that like button for some last pack magic, some two last pack magic. If you, you know, depending on when you hit it, you could have been a part of this. <laughs> uh, let's go with this. Oh, again, no energy because they have a V-Star. Super, super cool. Again, thank you so much for being here. I'm, I probably said it like five times through this video, but it really does help me out if you do engage with my content. Oh, me too. So not holographic rare, but I'm gonna keep that off to the side just because I like that a lot. We come into our last pack and then we will do a recap. I think it's worth it. I also have to find out what sleeves come in the uh, Elite Trainer box. Oh, I did not call. <laughs> I should have called. Critic, Fracture, Tropius, Piplup, Turtwig, Mencino, Carablast, Weasel. Hey, and there it is, the character rare. And it looks like we have something else behind it. Hey, a Roseanne's backup. So we got a perfect pack on the last one. So good job if you hit that like button. That's awesome. All right, so here we have it. We have a reverse Mewtwo, a couple of holographic cards, which I am actually pretty excited about. The holographics in this are actually like pretty nice. Boss's orders, Professor's research looking nice. A couple of nice V cards. And again, just let me know what your favorite is because I do really appreciate your input. Drakovic, a nice full art Pikachu V. And overall, this box actually ended up being better than I thought it was. I, I guess like as I was going through it, I was like hoping for more. And we kind of pulled through at the end as well as like, we were getting some good hits to the video and that's alternate art, which is so, so beautiful. And then a really nice Rainbow Whimsicott V-Star. Well, again, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. And if you're looking for more, hit one of the videos on screen now, and there's plenty of content to watch. But enjoy the rest of your day and night whenever you get around to watching this. I will see you later.